I also really loved the action as well. Like the action was awesome, just amazing, especially when Taskmaster was copying Natasha's moves, you know, in the fighting. And and honestly, Drakov, you know, like um, the main antagonist of the movie. Like, honestly, I really didn't see him as like a threat. He's just like, you know, one of those typical bad guys that's just like, oh, you know, I'm going to like rule because I can, you know, you know, especially when he like had a lot of like female soldiers just to like assert dominance and shit. And honestly, I thought the guy was a punk. Like, he didn't really strike me as, like, a terrifying villain. Like, to me, I wasn't convinced. You know, unlike Thanos, where you just hear him talk, you just see his plan go out, and you're like, wow, this guy's a top-notch villain. This Drakov guy, not impressed. Oh my god, one scene that really got me is, I thought Yelena was gonna die. Like, when she said, this was really fun, I'm like, oh no, please. And then that Caesar, I'm like, okay, I'm happy. And not to mention, the stunts in this are ridiculous. Look, I know this is the MCU and impossible stuff happens, but they are literally falling off of like, falling, you know, debris, or is it degree, no, not degree, just destroyed items just falling from the sky. And you know, Nat is, Nat is literally diving to just get yelling out and I'm just like, how? How do you survive that? I know you're badass, but you don't have powers. You can't fly. You don't even have a glider. This is just wow. This is just, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it just felt like I was watching Fast and Furious. Speaking of which, I don't even know if I'm gonna watch Fast 9 because it just looks trash. I don't know, I might watch it, we'll, we'll see. And what I thought was a bit strange was um, like when Natasha's like foster mom or whatever the heck she is, supposedly betrayed them, but it turns out she didn't. It was actually Natasha in a face disguise. Like that was confusing. Like, I guess I was impressed, but I was like, this is just, I don't know, like, it just feels like the misdirection just goes a bit too far, you know? Like, misdirection, shock value. It's interesting at first, but part of you just gets sick of it. I'm not gonna lie, I really saw no reason for them to make Taskmaster a girl. Like, I feel like this is just forced, this is just one of those representation kind of things. Like, he's a dude in the comics, keep him as a dude. Like, they did the exact same thing in Ant-Man and the Wasp, you know, with Ghost, he's a guy in the comics, and then they made him into a woman. Like, okay, think of it like this. Let's take Black Panther, for example, and then they use a white person to play Black Panther. Would that make any sense? And not to mention, that wouldn't even, like, correlate with the character's, you know, story, because, you know, he's a black man from Wakanda in Africa, not a white dude. Like, come on. It's the same thing British guy was all right. Like, um, I forgot his name. You know, the British guy that Nat was talking to in the beginning. He was cool, but personally, I didn't really think much of him. Like, cool guy, but yeah, nothing special. Oh my God, the funniest thing. <laughs> when Yelena called out Natasha for her pose. You know that pose she always does in the movies when she's like... <laughs> and then Yelena's just like... Such a poser. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Too funny.